closed trade services have recently come to the forefront as a means for financial companies to diversify their revenue streams. Post-trade processing allows the buyer and seller of securities to root out and rectify any errors. It's innovation that's making an impact globally. Well, here to tell us more about that and specifically the future of the securities industry in Russia and the wider CIS region is Maria Krasnova. She's the deputy chairman of the executive board of Russia's National Settlement Depository. So, Maria, welcome to Cybos TV. Thank you. A very long question now with quite a few things packed into it. But look, we know that NSC is one of the largest central security depositories in the CIS region. So given that, how do you see the infrastructure for the securities market developing there? And could you see something similar to the ECB's project, the T2S platform, happening anytime soon? And more importantly, is there a need for that? Oh, it's a quite a complex and interesting question. Thank you. Um, CSD community is uh, really diverse. There are more than 135 CSDs all over the world, and each of them is unique. The profile of each CSD is defined by many factors, by the needs of the particular market, by the local legislation, by the level of inclusion these into the international security settlement space and other, other factors. If we speak about the CIS area, the area which is defined by the former inclusion into the Soviet Union, area the former republic yeah former former republics of the soviet union yes um i should note that all the csds from that area are recent uh, re relatively young they appeared uh, relatively recently in early 90s i mean most of them so which made them able to adopt the most modern technologies that existed back there so we all had an opportunity to learn from the developed market and not to make the same mistakes or to overcome some phases of development that were obsolete back then. So, for example, we do not deal with paper-based securities like at all. We are fully digitalized and we only maintain electronic interchange with all kinds of counterparts we are, we are dealing with. So, um, each CSD in the region is unique. So uh, some of them um, have just recently emerged large, like CSD in Tajikistan, for example. Some of them, like NSD I'm representing today, is a very well-developed technologically um, um, in, and um, um, business processes-wise institutions. So. Um, it's, again, difficult to generalize, but we, what we have in common is that we um, all fulfill uh, systemically important functions in our markets, and we all consider ourselves as institutions that perform socially important functions, so that create public good and that impact the uh, financial stability, access to financial services, and that uh, ensure that the population of our countries would get access to the uh, fin financial services they might need. Now, the goal of your strategy is infrastructure internet. Mm -hmm. But what does this mean in practical terms? <laughs> that is an expression that our CEO, Adia Astanin, used when he was laying out his vision for NSD's business model in the future. So I may try to give you two interpretations. First of all, is that NSD is a, has developed quite an extensive electronic communication network. So we communicate with the, our counterparts electronically. And uh, we work on the formats, on the standards. We ensure that all our customers have fair access to our services, electronic services. And so our mm, ecosystem that we are part of includes CCP, uh, exchange, information services provider, even regulator. So all of them maintain electronic interchange with us. So it's a kind of a community 
that is using our electronic services and therefore is able to communicate with themselves, not necessarily uh, related to NSD. So we uh, provide services that go far beyond the needs of NSD itself. So that could be one analogy to the Internet, so like a mean of communication for the uh, participants of e e ecostructure. Another one would be that NSD as an organization um, collects, processes, um, um, sensitive information and gets uh, access to this information to the industry party. NSD is seen as a trusted provider and we can get access to the information about financial instruments, uh, issuers, market participants, corporate actions and all other kinds of sensitive information and therefore by applying to NSD you can get whatever you need I mean informationally wise that would be the second analogy that that's my understanding of it is ideas of uh, infrastructure internet in the Russian financial market you've got a lot going on Maria but before you part company from us yet I mean look you are early adopters or pilots of solutions working with Swift so could you summarize the ones that you're particularly active in and the plans that you have for them? I'm glad to say that we have a long time fruitful cooperation with SWIFT. We maintain contacts with Ross SWIFT, which is a community of SWIFT users in Moscow that are gathering together to work on the solution that SWIFT can help us all with and how we agree on how we work together to implement the best solution possible in the market. NSD was an early adapter of ISO 20022 standards in both securities, uh, um, corporate actions related area and payment area. And I'm proud to announce that our internal system are fully based on ISO 20022. And we conducted the corporate actions reform that led to implementation of this format in the entire market. So we are now using it and using it successfully for three years already, actually. We are able to convert ISO 20022 into ISO 15022 for all, uh, for, uh, all our international clients who are operating in Russia, but still not join the 2002 standards. NSD is also an early GPI adapter. That's, uh, as I was told, it, we are the first CSD who adapted the GPI. It's an important instrument from our point of view for us to increase operational efficiency and also the transparency. So we expect our clients will use this service and will appreciate the opportunities it presents. We also have this um, joint project with SWIFT. We are exploring together what opportunities API presents and the security settlement area. So we, it's, an, it's an early stage, R&D stage actually, but we are hoping that jointly we can decide on what's the prospects of this future uh, technology is in the, for, for the industry in Russia. Well, it certainly sounds like you have your hands full. We look forward to hearing more <laughs> about how this develops in the future. Maria Krasnova, Deputy Chairman of Russia's National Settlement Depository. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you Sandra's for having TV. me. Thank, Thank you. you.